Right here on our coffee table, we got an alternator, right? Yes. We could do it on a workbench over there, but we decided to do it on a coffee table. Okay, so tell me what you're checking. Uh, doing a diet test on this to see if it's any good. All right. So let's do that with our little cheap $10 meter. We got it. Notice we got the cheap $10 meter set on diode check. <laughs> and we got this thing, and he's going to the big post on the alternator and the frame. All right, when he touches it, it all right, can touch it and hold it. Touch it and hold it there. See, it does that. Now go to the, go the other way. You're going to reverse that polarity. It does the same same way both ways. All right, and so what we got there is we got a bad one. Now this one was really, really noisy when it was running and going, and when we connected it to the uh, charging system tester, how many, what did we read? About 11 volts. 11 and volts and some change. And so we got another alternator on the way here, and when we put it on there, before we put it on there, we're going to check it with the same way we're checking this one. Testing the new one. Oh, we're going to test it. What, we're te what, are, what are we doing? <laughs> testing the new one. Testing the new one. Okay, that's the new alternator. Okay, now let's get our meter set up. Our silly little $10 meter. Now you can try this at home if you happen to have an alternator. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to hook it to the, that battery post and we're going to go to the case. And we're touching it and we don't see anything on our reading. Now flip them around. We're going to do that. And ooh, look at that. We got that one, side, that one way and nothing the other way. And that's the way it's supposed to be.